right, all right. What's going on, my beautiful people of YouTube? This is MK the Truth, a D O D B E N T. Man, y'all know what we got in this box. If you guys are new to the channel, come on and join the family. Also, connect to my Instagram. Wait a minute, please. You gotta come on and join the family. Also, connect to my Instagram. It is the underscore truth underscore MK. Also, ladies and gentlemen, all music is produced by me, D O D B. And I upload them here in the background as well. Before we get started, though, this review is for educational purposes only. This is only MK's analysis. And then I jump on up out of here. So today I have for you the beautiful Air Jordan 1 Palomino. But do you know what a Palomino is? Yeah, this shoe, uh, from, to, from what I saw, doesn't look like anything that resembles a horse. <laughs> Yes, you guessed it, a horse. Now, the only thing I do see that resembles the horse is the golden outer of the box. A Palomino is a goldish color horse or pony. And this is the only gold that I see on the shoe. Anyway, love the box. You got the gold foil with the black box. Then once you get into the bread and butter, you got this brown or mocha-ish shoe. Now, maybe Palomino could be a uh, different shades of brown, but it specifically says a gold colored horse. This is all the gold I see right here. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into the shoe. Now, this will be a slight comparison. I did do a comparison review before, uh, maybe a month or two ago, but some people didn't agree with that video. The shoe I did that on was the Travis Scott one. Now, let me say something right quick. Now, why did I do the review on the Travis Scott one versus uh, not doing it on the Mocha backs? If you guys don't know the Mocha backs, that is the dark Mocha back. Now, why didn't I do it on this shoe? We will do this review against all of these. But why did I do it with these two and not the Mocha backs? Well, simply because these are the classic colorways so if you have like this mocha this is not mocha this is i guess this is the palomino that they call it the gold on the shoe but if you look at these this is chicago this is the chicago color blocking with the brown and this is the bread color blocking with the brown got it chicago bread and that is why i chose to do a comparison on the travis scott because this is pretty much the only brown joy one that we have more than anything else that's why i chose to do this versus this rather than this versus this because you don't really have any much of a similarity here aside from the brown on the boot anyway let's take a look at this shoe right quick and then we'll get into a nice little comparison so we have the palomino put that for a little bit of backdrop palomino edge 01 this is a beautiful shoe um i didn't think it when i first saw pictures because the brown or whatever this is finish that they have on the shoe was not looking right it was looking pale it just didn't look right uh to me the leathers on this shoe is just absolutely magnifioso on every single panel you got it on the neck mid panel you got it on the piping here not the piping but you got it on the eye stay portion here and just look at this just look at that and what I also love about this shoe is on it's on this newer shape Jordan 1, which is kind of taking on sort of some 85 elements. You got more of a rounded toe box. You got something happening here. You're getting a beautiful, more beautiful curve up here. That's what she likes. You get a bigger Nike swoosh, if you didn't know. And you also get the classic style Air Jordan Wings logo up at the top look at that look i mean look at the materials just trying to jump off the camera like i'm good just trying to tell you i'm good <laughs> anyway this particular shoe please people and i i i say this because some of y'all do some of the dumbest stuff with taking shoes back and complaining about shoes this shoe has like a some of my folks call it mink oil finish it has an oil based finish to it so what that means is it's some sort of an oil finish to this new buck uh you see the little blotches here some of your shoes will have maybe heavier blotches some of your shoes may not but that is the nature of natural materials and when they finish shoes naturally like this uh don't take your shoes back just because you see this this is a natural oil finish if you look close you see like little tiny blotches all on my upper you can see some up there up top okay you see little blotches down here so forth and so on do not take your shoes back and i'm gonna scratch this right quick to show you something you see that like normal shoes don't do that and it's not easy to get that off you got to keep rubbing at it. It comes off, but you got to keep rubbing at it. But that's due to the oil based finish that's on this new buck. Anyway, very beautiful pair of shoes. These will be coming out. 
um, I'm gonna put this video up the day before they release so let's say they coming out tomorrow beautiful beautiful looking shoe in my opinion don't really agree with the yellow Nike air at the top but I'm coming around to it anyway let's go ahead and get it to this quick comparison now I know some of you wanted me to do this comparison next to the mocha backs I just don't really see any similarities I mean I do I do but I think the Travis Scott was much more necessary because like I said this is Chicago color blocking and this is the bread color blocking that's why I did this uh, particular comparison anyway here is the comparison against the mocha backs very beautiful brown sneakers if I might say so myself, if I would have to go with one of these, whew, boy, this might be it right here. Anyway, of course, you have that mocha on the back of the mocha back. You got more of that sail all over the mid panel and then you come to a black toe. This is more of the black toe. Yeah, I even I just noticed that just now. This is the black toe. This is the Chicago. This is the bread. You see why I did this versus this now? Because these are the only brown Jordan ones we got. Black toe. Chicago. Bread. Anyway. <laughs> so anyway, the browns are totally different. I kind of see where the gold is kind of going right here. And then maybe this is the only. Ah, okay, okay. That's why. That's why it has the gold Nike Air up at the top, y'all. <laughs> this is the only Palomino on the shoe. I think this is the only Palomino on the shoe. I think everybody's thinking the Palomino is the brown. Anyway, two different, totally different browns you have. This is a mocha. This is more of a brown. Also, you have a old, cheap. Look at that. Look at that old, cheap Air Joe Wings logo that I've always hated. It peels off after a while versus this very nice, old school, quality Wings logo. Bigger Nike swoosh versus baby Nike swoosh better toe box let me move this out the way better toe box it's okay i like the like sort of a boxy toe box but i love this new shape it's something up here in this area that's new something somewhere right here let me let me show y'all yeah you see how this runs a little bit more flat on the older jaw ones so it, it kind of lips up about right here that's what i noticed i thought I, I thought i thought it was something that changed so that's what changed on the newer uh jaw one we got more of a it starts to turn up right here and i like that a lot more than how it runs straight you see that i need to take a look at this one you see how that kind of this one kind of does it and i think that is inconsistent with joel ones but they are totally different on how they lip up they start to lip up right there towards the front anyway the mocha backs the reason like i said the reason why i didn't compare these because it's it's even though they are kind of similar i just didn't think it was like really necessary but looking at them is it's a necessary comparison it's a necessary comparison anyway for me which one i would choose between the two of these i mean i gotta have all of them man i gotta have all of them i'm falling in love i have fallen in love with this newer shape the newer shape just looks absolutely stunning just just beautiful love the big nike swoosh and everything and i love when they do this sort of an oil based finish so you can kind of rub this out you don't want to rub it too much but be careful with this type of finish man because if you scratch it up and things like that and you keep rubbing it in a certain a certain way you can leave like a permanent stain there but it also looks good when you start to nick it up and you get little nicks and things on it kind of adds character to the shoe anyway for me the comparison uh was necessary for the travis scott versus the palomino because i just think it's it's just a better looking comparison this is chicago and this is um a bridge uh to me even though they are not the same shades of brown i do love this reddish shade of brown a little bit more than the mocha now that i look at these closely i might prefer this sort of a reddish brown a little bit more over the travis scott anyway these are very dope uh i think this will give the travis scott's i know a lot of people gonna say something else because this is a collaboration i think the travis scott's a dope it's a dope sneaker but i think this will give the travis scott a little bit of run for his money because this is a beautiful looking shoe especially against that black anyway let's take a look at this other shoe right quick see what we hitting on and you know mk's got to get on up out of here very nice very nice okay take a look at that up close you can see the oil finish in areas 
I know a lot of y'all aren't familiar with materials. Got a little bit of smush there that looks like that's from the box. Just loving this old school shape, the newer shape. It's not a new shape, it's an old shape back in 1994 or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, these look absolutely stunning. Uh, which one you guys taking? You guys taking the Palominos? You taking the Mocha Backs? Or you taking the Travis Scott's? Always remember, Chicago, bread black toe all of them are beautiful i'm not gonna put one of them against the other but i am i'm I li i'm lying i am <sighs> nah i'm lying i'm not i'm taking all of them let me know what y'all think about this review down below this is mk the truth d-o-d-b-e-n-t amen i love y'all i'm out